I just think the future of search lives within the apps themselves. And I don't think people go eventually to there and look at links. Like, I, I don't know. What, how about you? Like, I, I don't know. Are you seeing uh, complexity? Like, what are you doing? I don't know if I'm an outlier or what, but I can't remember the last time I've touched a Google search, to be perfectly honest with you. Maybe I would assume for like the hours of a restaurant or something. And I realize like, there are different types of searches and I'm probably doing many more that are heavier oriented yeah. toward what LOMs are really good at. But I've even gotten into the point with deep research where I would run reports on local vendors or businesses or how to get stuff done and obviously verify the information. But Google is not the first touch for me anymore for the most yeah. part. Yeah. And I think the other thing that started jumping out to me is I hope OpenAI doesn't screw this up with ads, yeah. but they, whatever their algorithm is to surface the best answers, you almost like when you think about the, like say Ch Chad GPT being better at search than me, you can imagine a scenario where OpenAI not only builds the initial search, but then it has an AI that evaluates the strength and value of the links that are being gonna, used. Yeah. And it's, it's its own critic yep. of the value of the searches conducted and the, the sites found. And it just keeps grinding until it finds exactly what it needs, like a agentic way, basically. And until it then can give you the brief based on the absolute best sources it can find without being hindered by who's the ad from and is it sponsored and all these things. It's like, it's this pure, true, I just want the best answer. I want the best output. I don't want links. I don't want right. ads. I don't want any of that. I just want an answer. And right now, because it's not ad supported, I feel like that's what I'm getting there.